Hi right, guys, this is something that I see a lot on Instagram. A lot of Instagram archers. They do this one thing that just kind of annoys the crap out of me. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what they do. Even before they even get started shooting. What they'll do, they'll do this. And they'll stick it on like this. So you, first of all, you're not able to even look at your target because you're so focused on doing this right here, right? See, a lot of archers do that, man. I don't understand why. You know, first of all, you look dumb. You look very inexperienced. Even the ones who've been shooting for a long time. Uh, uh, there was a long time ago, I went to the to an actual range, archery range, and uh, there's an other guy, old timer, who's been shooting for a long time, man. This guy was a skilled archer, right? Really, really good. And we both came up to the line to shoot, right? He drew his arrow like this, right? And me, my inexperienced butt, like this. I was grabbing like this. And he said that he had seen, he had witnessed, he had witnessed a guy uh, do this, like this, didn't check the knock. Come to find out, the knock on the guy's, uh, the knock on the other guy's uh, arrow was cracked and he didn't know it. He didn't check the knock, right? So he proceeded to pull back anchor and when he pulled back and let it go, he about right here, something snapped, right? And the arrow, it the back of the arrow hit the back of the, it was really weird, but it slid, right? And it went like this. Somehow it went like that and jabbed him right in the eye, right? Caught him right in the, right in the side of the, the face, like right over here, right? Horrible, he said it was like the most horrible, it was horrible, it was a horrible accident. Luckily the guy didn't die or nothing, you know, happened to him permanently, but, when you're loading it on like this, first of all, you're not even looking at your target. Look, watch this, look. I'm standing like this. I see a lot of people do that. And then they look up at their target, right? My recommendation, this is my recommendation. What I do, I'm gonna keep my, my bow out, I'm gonna keep my arm out, right? At least I try, I try, when I'm thinking about it. But this is, I'm, this is just a recommendation those of you guys out there who you want to look professional you want to be down at the range you look good good shooting pull it out and then I can still keep my eye you know if I have to look down really quick I can still keep my eye my head up but those of you guys who are doing down like this you're not even looking at the target and you look you look you look silly sorry in my opinion you look silly so this is something that I'm going to try to work on because I suck at it too what I do is I grab it from back here, grab it from the back, and I can still uh, look, right? See? Boom. Look, I'm, I'm looking at my target the entire time. I'm able to draw back to my anchor and shoot, right? But if I'm going to do something like this, where I am literally sticking the arrow on like this, well, like I said, you look you look weird. Uh, you don't look as professional. I know a lot of old timers, and I know a lot of people with a lot of experience do that. They grab it like this by the shaft, but they're not checking the knock. The knock could be cracked. And you don't you might not even see it. By grabbing it back here near the knock or on the knock, I can actually check to see if my knock is cracked while I'm grabbing it. So. And another thing, maybe help you not move around so much, is keeping your bow arm up, right? So if I keep my bow arm up, right, I'm still looking at the target, I'm still pointing at the target. Maybe it's more of a combat style of shooting for some of you guys. Um, but for someone, um, I guess if you're just doing casual shooting and you, you just wanna kinda take your time, right? But you're not looking at your target, you've lost sight of your target. You lost, it, if all you use is a bow and you don't use any guns, you might as well treat a bow kind of like a gun, right? With a gun, you see those guys who are reloading, right? They got their gun, right? They got their gun on sight. They're not dropping it. Typically, 
you can well with an M, with an M6 or AR15 M16, I could release that magazine, grab another one, put it back up, and then engage my target, right? I could check, right? But same thing with with a with a bow. With a bow, what I want to do once again is I want to build a still be able to look at my target, right? I can still look at my target. Look, I haven't lost sight of my target. Because look, here's another thing. My target could have moved over here. If it's a deer or whatever, a threat, I can still kind of move my bow and I can grab another arrow and then boom, let go, right? But uh, this method, you see, these, you see a lot of these, man, Instagram, YouTube, a lot of people. Man, I gotta... This shows that you're just not as good. A lot of people edit out their, you know, knocking the arrow, but I'm sure you guys are real thing, right? So what I'll do is I'll stick it, and, you, and there's different methods of doing it. You can catch it on the back of the hand, right? There's so many different methods of sticking it on there, right? Sometimes you don't always find it. You don't always find it. Um, with, with a glove, like with my other bow, I don't need a glove with my other bow because it's a, more of a training bow. Use it for training people. But typically, when I'm grabbing my tip for you guys, grabbing the soft, right? The soft part of the, see how that, that little opening? Yeah, let me show you guys. Boom, you want to grab just like that. See how it's soft and nice, nice and soft, right? Opening, right? You don't want to grab it like this. That means you know you're grabbing it wrong you won't be able to get the arrow on the string like that right because you're blocking it so what you want to do or try to do is grab it right here grab it right here let me see if i can demonstrate for you guys i might miss it because i haven't really practiced on my technique in a while but look boom I didn't even look at the string. I didn't look, I swear. I didn't look at the string. I can draw back to my anchor. Now, obviously with a glove, there's a lot less sensitivity, but try to get yourself in the habit. If you can get a, a, a maybe not a thinner glove or something like that, but um, so again, I'll show you guys from the front, right? I'm grabbing it and I'm sticking it on the string. Boom, see that? Boom, now I'm ready to shoot, ready to pull back to my anchor point release but like I said if you prefer to do it like this that's cool like you're, you're doing this you just look like a rookie you're looking down now you now you look up and your targets over there your targets over there now you got to reacquire you got to reacquire your position so once again what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show it to you guys one more time see I'm gonna see also, okay, now my target's moving over here, so I can change my thing, right? Boom. And then I pull back to my anchor point. Boom. Once again, I'll show you again. Now, the only drawback to that is, yes, you saw that my my uh, off-colored uh, was pointing inside. Now, if I'm shooting really, really far away, yeah, that makes a much bigger difference. But if I'm shooting, you know, 10 yards away and I happen to have put the white, the this part right here, inside, accidentally inside, right? Like this, where the white, this feather, this fletching right here, is gonna hit that part, hit the, the shelf of the bow. 10 yards away, not a big deal. 12 yards away, 15 yards away, I don't know, maybe you're talking about 20, 25 yards, 30 yards. Maybe that'll affect the shot if you don't put it on there correctly. But I'm talking about just, I need to get a kill real quick, right? Like I, I, I'm hunting something and I need to acquire my target, right? And all of a sudden my targets move that direction. What I would do is I would just turn and then I could just, boom, look. And I have not left, my eyes are still focused on the target once again. I accidentally put it on the inside, but that, I mean, obviously the target's pretty close to me, so me drawing back and letting it go is not going to affect my shot. It's not going to affect my shot. It's going to hit the, the inside of the bow, but 
but it's kind of sort of made to kind of, you know, in the case of that, fleshing's kind of, it kind of melds with the bow. So it won't affect the shot that much, right? So, you know, once again, I'll show you guys one more time. Put that one on the ground, right? Um, and look, look, see, I'm not even looking. I'm just reaching back and grabbing an arrow and sticking it on the thing, see? The arrow's on there. And that, by the way, it's, it takes time. It takes time to learn that. You gotta learn, learn your knock. Once again, if you're doing this the entire time, you'll never learn if your knock is cracked or if you have uh, something on the back of the end. Because if that knock is cracked, you can snap it and it can smack, reel back and smack you in the face. So my recommendation is to reach, boom, boom, see that, boom. I'm already ready, already ready to go, see? Arrows, the, it's already on there, mostly, yeah. Yeah, it's already on there, so, boom. So that's my tip for you guys today. For those of you guys who are wondering, like, because I made a complaint to someone on, on Instagram one time, it was another archer. And I was like, it just doesn't look good. Cause she's like trying to, she's like running to a spot. She runs to her spot and then she stops and it just, and she's doing this. Your target's gone. Your target's gone. Your target's already come in on you, right? If it's a wild animal. So I want to be able to be able to acquire um, my, my, my target. Right away, boom, 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 right? I don't want to let that go because I don't have uh, my glove on. But I showed you guys multiple times how I do it. It's not that difficult. It's fairly easy. You just got to practice on it. You got to practice on it, right? Practice on it. And, and you have to feel it, kind of, sort of feel it. Even if it takes you a while. Sometimes it takes me a while. But I'm still looking at my target. It's better for me to look at my target Better for me to look, I, I kind of sort of got it on there. But it's better for me to be able to keep my eyes on target. Once again, this might be a combat style. Maybe it's just other people are just doing it for, for fun. I look at everything as, you know, if this is a, could be used as a weapon that's been used for thousands of years, then why not continue to allow it to be a weapon instead of just a joy, just something for fun, right? So I drain and I just stick it on the, on the arrow, on the thing, and I come back for my shot. Boom. There, once again, I'll show you one last time, in case you guys think, he didn't knock it. Yeah, I did. All the way on the knock, all right? So, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys learned something. Not trying to diss on other people who do hold it by the shaft, but, that sounded weird, but that's just my, uh, my advice to you guys, so.